Hey, it's Ryan here from Lexus of Edmonton, and what do you know, we got another white on black Lexus RX350 leather and navigation package to show you. So we'll take a look over here at the new redesigned Lexus spindle grille first, and we'll check out the uh, running headlights, the LED array that they have on these units now. Pretty classy, pretty classy. So it's sitting on 17-inch alloy wheels with Michelin all-season tires. We've got the mirrors with the integrated turn signal. They're power folding, power adjustable. They save with your driver's seat memory. We're going to go on inside the vehicle now and take a quick look at some of the features. So obviously we got the three independent driver memory seat settings. The power windows, the power locks, power mirror control. Down here you've got a little flap. This is room for a water bottle in there too. And check out the power seat controls. Over here we can see the power steering wheel adjustments and the power trunk and gas cap release. I'm going to get on inside here and we'll see the navigation screen and the dash there. It's controlled with the Lexus remote touch system which works like a mouse. You put your hand down on it like that, you move this thing around like that and that controls your cursor up here. So this screen is going to show you all kinds of things from your climate control, your radio and media settings to vehicle information and system setup and phone setup as in addition to being your navigation screen. You can access all that with the menu button right here. If we look down the console a little bit further you'll see the power and volume knob and shortcuts to the radio and media screen here as well as the Lexus 6 disc CD changer in there as well, the tuner knob. We've got climate controls down here with the driver and passenger temperature controls as well as this neat little button here which is your rear window defrost and your exterior mirror defrost. Take a look at the shift knob, it's leather wrapped. It's got sport mode with tap shift. We've got a couple cup holders right here with this nice glossy wood, dark wood grain trim finish. Give it a press, opens right up. This piece pops out too for easy cleaning. Here you have the driver and passenger heated and cooling seat controls. If we pop open the glove box, take a look inside here, you'll notice that it's got a little piece of garbage at the bottom, but we're going to ignore that and keep going right along. So it's got the USB and auxiliary input, so if you want to plug in your iPod or other portable media device, that's where it goes. And at the very bottom there, you have the auxiliary power outlet. We're going to move along to the passenger side where you've got the lock and glove box, you've got the passenger door controls, the passenger flap down there with room for a water bottle as well. Looking up top here, we've got the auto dimming rear view mirror, we've got your holder for your sunglasses, we've got the controls for your dome light and the sunroof, and if we pull down the, the sunshade and slide that open, you've got that automatic light that comes on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off just like that. So now we're going to walk around to the rear of the vehicle. I'm going to show you the power trunk and the back seats. So I'm going to give this button a little one, two hold. It's going to beep at me and then that trunk is going to start opening up. You can also do that through the remote. There's a button on the remote. Now we're going to take a look inside the trunk area here. First thing you'll see is the uh, interior, interior cargo cover. And we've got 40, 20, 40 split rear seats. You can have them up or down in any in any way you like to make it work with whatever situation you're dealing with on a given day. We got these little handles on either side that are a convenience feature. If I give one of those a pull then it sends down that front seat that didn't go all the way because the passenger seat's too far back but that's okay you get the idea. We still got some things wrapped up in the bags here like your uh, rubber floor mats, carpet floor mats, all our vehicles come with both of them. You got you got a little cargo net right here, great for holding your groceries, that kind of thing. We also have the carpet floor mat for the back cargo area and a couple leather bound man manual holders. So once you're done with this area, you hit that button, closes right up for you. Now we're going to make our way into the rear seat and I'm going to put this embarrassment of a demonstration back up and just move right along. So we check out the door panel here, you'll see the window control and another water bottle holder imagine that and then we'll go look down here you can see that it's a reclining seat if you pull that when no one's sitting in it's gonna fall straight down like I demonstrated earlier but if someone's in there obviously it's reclinable if we look down here you can see there's also room to move forward and back a little bit so you can have those minor adjustments to fit your passengers or your cargo better now this center seat folds down, you got a little storage space on the back side here, you got a little cup holder in the front, 
put that back up and I'll let you take a look there. There's a good amount of room. It's a decent sized smaller SUV. I've been I've gone for long trips in the back of those seats and they're very comfortable. You can take my word on that. So now we're going to make our way back around to the front of the engine. No, I'm going to show you the passenger side first. Let's take a look in here really quick. You got another little auxiliary power outlet down there that I didn't show you earlier and obviously the passenger seat controls right here and the door panel. So if we move right along now back around to the front of the vehicle, talk a little bit about the engine in this thing. It's a 3.5 liter V6 engine spitting out 268 horsepower with 248 pounds of torque. It's got a combined fuel economy rating of 8.3 liters per 100 kilometers and it runs on regular gasoline, imagine that. Pretty good perks for a luxury vehicle I'd say. So if you have any more questions, you want to see this thing in person, take it for a test drive, bug one of our salespeople, you know, just have fun. Uh, give us a call at 466-8300 and book an appointment. Or you know what, just, just come right down. We, we like that too at 170th Street and 111th Ave. Right next to the Tim Hortons. Real easy to find. And if you're going to continue your online shopping today and you're browsing around doing some comparison shopping, you can check out LexusofEdmonton.ca to see the other vehicles we have, other videos that we've put up and all that fun stuff. So once again, my name's Ryan Quick. Thank you very much for watching my video. We'll see you next time, guys.